In Act One, Susan goes over her schedule. She has a very busy day. What's the schedule today? Ten o'clock. Telephone FAO Schwartz about the new twin baby dolls. She has calls to make. Telephone Mrs. Zasky at the advertising agency. And she has meetings to attend. At four o'clock, you have a meeting with the production staff in the conference room. But Susan thinks she forgot something. Wait a minute. What's today's date? Today is the twelfth. Why? It seems to me I scheduled something else. There's nothing else in the appointment book. What did Susan forget? Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Sam. What's the schedule today? Ten o'clock. Telephone FAO Schwartz about the new twin baby dolls. Okay. Telephone Mrs. Zasky at the advertising agency. I did that. Go on. Eleven o'clock. Approve the sketches for the toy spaceship. Oh, where are they? Right here. Did you look at them? Yes, I did. What do you think of the spaceship? I think the kids will love it. Would you show me the drawings, please? Huh. Now, what else is on the schedule today? Well, at one o'clock you have a lunch appointment with Mr. Levine, the client from the Toy Town stores. Where? At Rosano's. Hmm. Anything else? At four o'clock you have a meeting with the production staff in the conference room. Make sure everybody is at that meeting. Will do. At six you're meeting Mr. Rosawa. <sighs> oh yes. Are his models here? They're in my office. I'd like to see them. Right. What else? Come on, Sam. You work too hard, Susan. When was your last day off? Hmm. I can't remember. You really ought to take some time off. What for? To enjoy the simple things in life. I know, Sam. Maybe soon. To smell the flowers. Oh, wait a minute. What's today's date? Today is the twelfth. Why? It seems to me I scheduled something else. There's nothing else in the appointment book. I'm sure I did. Oh well, I'll probably remember it later. I hope it isn't important. Oh, it's probably nothing. Okay, let's get started. Would you call Priscilla Smith at FAO Schwartz, please? Right. These are the models from the Japanese filmmaker. Thank you. Just put them on my desk. And the new drawings for the toy spaceship. Wonderful. That was fast. We have a new artist. She's very talented. Well, what time is it anyway? My watch stopped. It's eleven、uh, thirty. What time is my lunch date with Bill Levine? One o'clock. Remind me to leave at twelve forty-five. <laughs> Did you remember your other appointment for today?、Mm, no, but I have a feeling it's going to be too late when I do remember. Just solved the mystery.、Oh, what did I forget? You have some guests in the reception room. What? Who? Mr. Harry Bennett and his daughter. I remember.、Oh, Harry. <sighs> I made a lunch date with him and his daughter weeks ago. Is he a client? He's a friend. Well, he's here with his daughter to have lunch. 
I met her at Thanksgiving, and I promised to have lunch with both of them today. Yes, indeed. What are you going to do about your appointment with Mr. Levine? <laughs> Any suggestions? <laughs> oh. What's the schedule today? Ten o'clock. Telephone F A O Schwartz about the new twin baby dolls. Ten o'clock. Ten fifteen. That's a quarter after ten. Ten thirty. That's half past ten. Ten forty-five. That's a quarter to eleven. Eleven o'clock. Approve the sketches for the toy station. Eleven o'clock. Eleven fifteen. That's a quarter after eleven. What time is it anyway? My watch stopped. It's eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. That's half past eleven. Eleven forty-five. That's a quarter to twelve. Twelve o'clock. That's noon. Twelve fifteen. That's twelve thirty. That's. Remind me to leave at twelve forty-five. <laughs> Twelve forty-five. That's. What time is my lunch date with Bill Levine? One o'clock. One fifteen. That's. One thirty. That's. One forty-five. That's. What else is on the schedule today? Coming up in Act Two, Susan greets Harry and Michelle. Hi, Susan. We have both been excited about seeing you and having lunch with you today. But Michelle may not want to have lunch. Harry. If Michelle doesn't want to go, we don't have to. Later on, they go out. Welcome to the South Street Restaurant. And Susan tries to talk to Michelle. Michelle, can we have a talk? Sure. What's on Michelle's mind? Michelle, hello, Harry. It's nice to see you again. Hello. Hi, Susan. We have both been excited about seeing you and having lunch with you today. Michelle picked these flowers up. Daddy, can we go soon? We're going to go to lunch in a few minutes, honey. But I'm thirsty. Okay, you go out and get a drink of water at the fountain. The fountain is over there, Michelle, near the exit sign. Michelle is a little shy. I used to be that way when I was her age. Harry, if Michelle doesn't want to go, we don't have to. She'll be fine. Remember, I haven't dated anyone else since her mother died. This is a little difficult for her. Are you ready to go? Yes, but could you wait one minute? I have a call to make. Would you excuse me?、Mm -hmm. Sam, get Mr. Levine at Toy Town Stores on the telephone for me, please. Right. Hello, Susan Stewart, calling Mr. Levine, please. He's on the phone. Mr. 
Mr. Levine, Susan Stewart, I find myself in an embarrassing situation. I made another lunch date for today and forgot to enter it in my appointment book. Can you and I meet for drinks tomorrow? I'd really appreciate it. <sighs> yes, thank you. Tomorrow at five o'clock at the Biltmore. I'll see you then. Thank you, Mr. Levine. South Street restaurant, folks. What'll it be? What do you recommend? Well, the crab salad's always a big hit. Susan, would you like the crab salad? I'd love the crab salad. Michelle, would you like to try the crab salad, too? Okay, Daddy. We'll have the three crab salads and a pitcher of lemonade. Help yourself to uh, celery and carrots and other vegetables. We used to catch crabs. Where was that? We had a summer house on Fire Island. Do you remember, Michelle? Sure, you and Mommy used to take me on a ferry boat. Sometimes at night, we would uh, go down to the beach and catch crabs, remember? With the people we meet on the street. <laughs> right. Well, I think I'm going to go get us all some vegetables. Some ice cold lemonade. Thank Enjoy you. it. Michelle, can I help you with the lemonade? No, thank you. I'll wait for my father. Michelle, can we have a talk? Sure. I know you miss your mother. You do? Yes. And I'm not trying to take her place. Then why are you and Daddy spending so much time together? Because we like each other. And right now, he needs a friend. I'm his friend. I know you are. Sometimes he's very sad. And so are you, I think. Sometimes. I'd like to be your friend, too. Will you let me be your friend, Michelle? So, what were you two talking about? Just girl talk, Daddy. It's too hard to explain. You're probably right. Well, let's get started. <laughs> Michelle is a little shy. I used to be that way when I was her age. I used to be that way when I was her age. We had a summer house on Fire Island. Do you remember, Michelle? Sure, you and Mommy used to take me on a ferry boat. Sure, you and Mommy used to take me on a ferry boat. We used to catch crabs. We used to catch crabs. And sometimes at night, we would go down to the beach and catch crabs. You know, Michelle, when I was your age, I used to do a lot of fun things. I did too. I used to play the piano. <laughs> Mom would give me lessons on Tuesdays after school. And I used to play the violin. <laughs> I would take lessons every Thursday afternoon. I used to have long hair, like you, Michelle. But I don't now. I used to go fishing. Every summer, I would get out my fishing pole and try to catch a big one. <laughs> oh, Harry, you used to be so handsome. I used to be so handsome? You still are, of course. Mm, thank you.
In Act Three, Susan, Harry, and Michelle have a lot of fun together, but Susan has work to do. Oh, it's a quarter to four, and I have a production meeting at four. Harry is disappointed. I plan to take you for a ride in Central Park in a horse and carriage. Michelle is disappointed too. Why、well, you can't come with us, Susan? So am I. What will Susan do? Production meeting at four. I plan to take you for a ride in Central Park in a horse and carriage. <laughs> Harry, I'd love to, but I have work to do. <sighs> okay, we'll walk back to your office with you. It's so nice out. I decided to、uh, forget about my accounting problems and just enjoy this beautiful spring day. <laughs> take the time, Susan. I know I should, but well, there are too many things to do. I understand. I'll go for the ride with Michelle. Right. Well, I had a really nice time. So did I. So did I. I'm sorry you can't come with us, Susan. So am I. Bye bye. Harry, Michelle, can you wait till I make a phone call? Sure. Susan Stewart's office. Sam, this is Susan. Hi, how was lunch? Fine. You're late. The production department's waiting in the conference room. I know. Ask Paul Smith to fill in for me. He knows everything about the production schedule, and he can answer any questions. Right. Don't tell anyone, but I'm taking a little time to smell the flowers. Good for you. It'll be our secret. But schedule another production meeting for tomorrow. I'll be back for my six o'clock appointment with Mr. Ozawa. Okay, Susan, and have a nice afternoon. Thanks. About what? Life. And what'd you decide? That's a secret between us women. 